that this aligned with the Islamic State militant group have captured a military base in Borno State after overnight clashes with troops. According to OFP, machine gun wielding fighters from Islamic State West African province attacked the base in the town of Mate in the Lake Chad area overnight Friday into Saturday. The priority now is to reclaim the base from the terrorists and an operation is underway. The news agency quoted as saying, We took a hit from ISWAP group. They raided the base in Mate after a fierce battle. He said the army incurred losses, but it was not clear how many people had died on the level of destruction inflicted by the insurgents. Last week, the jihadists attacked the Mate base but were repelled, prompting them to mobilize more fighters for the overnight raid. In November last year, Nigerian government officials began the phased return of residents to Mate six years after the jihadists pushed them out. The town, 130 kilometers 80 miles from the regional capital Meduguri, was once considered the Lake Chad region's bread baskets. Hmm. Not again. This is really different from the from the bomb blast set by this uh, Boko Haram that uh, five people died and 15 people injured. This one is a different thing again. You know, seize military base. They seize military base. Those who are always telling us that uh, uh, we should be grateful to God that a uh, bomb blast is not uh, the order of the day now. They just change tactics and you are telling us as if uh, Nigerians are, are, are children. Even You can't even tell children that kind of story. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be better for Amoteko and Eastern Security Network to be handed over the security of Bono State? Hmm. Until the patriotic, patriotic Northerners rise up, the Northerners will eventually consume their, their selves by themselves. Hmm. Oyalai Mohamed, no be only to send soldiers to kill unarmed civilians for two gates. Now the civilians, when they carry gun, don't enter barrack, soldiers don't run away. I'm appealing to the remaining Christians in the northern region of Nigeria to relocate to the south with immediate alacrity. There is no time again. Do not do that now or you pay dearly with your lives. This is because God Almighty is already embarking on a business of demolishing the entire northern Nigeria. That is what happens when you keep playing with them. You people have the intelligence, the forces and the ammunition. Why these people or wipe them out once and for all but no you guys are playing politics with them it happened in matter an overnight iswap attack multiple gun trucks destroyed troops backed by air force as retaking the base the same base was attacked last week i can't believe military command didn't see this coming hmm well you guys have not been Reporting the military sources against the insurgents in this country. In this date, you are good on reporting negative news in this country. Like that's what someone is saying. Ali Yubaturi, Dahaya, good and fine. Well, congratulations on the victory of Nigeria Army over terrorists. I hope it's okay now. Okay, that is what this person wants to hear. <laughs> I thought maybe he wanted to say it is fake news that it didn't happen. Hmm. They will show us helicopter that Army K200 Boko Haram. There should be balanced reports. We must also encourage our military personnel. Exactly. That is my point. Mm, no, sir. It has to be reported on their page. Well, Aliyu Baturi, Dahaya, don't worry. They will. Punch and other news outlets always do. They always do. Don't bother. Bury your head inside shame. Is this military supposed to allow this stage fight linger till now? Military these days are full of propaganda that uh, General Enenche lies a lot. You mean this is where their efforts pushed a city? It is all right. Hmm. Because there is no success to report, that is why they will not report it. But the success, the, the, the failure is more than the success. And the success we are talking about, we don't even believe whether it is true. We don't even believe whether it is true, whether it's just to save themselves. It's unfortunate, honestly. This whole thing is just tiring. And just like I've been saying, it's not going to be affecting them alone. Somebody saying, oh, the Christians, they should relocate. It's not going to solve anything. 
because all of us in one way or the other will be will be affected the money meant for development will be channeled towards that side and the worst part of it is that if that money is not well used and that is it hmm. this is this is really serious very very serious you guys have not Okay, they still saying the same thing. This is an act of a sabotage. The arms forces are not neutral. This is as a result of the indoctrination of the so-called repentant Boko Haram into the Nigeria armed forces. Crucify them for shaming this government. Where is Abubakar Malami from Sukutu? Hmm. Look at the shame Nigeria military is bringing to the giants of Africa. But the military is busy using helicopters to look for eastern security network in the bush. Every army base should be so sophisticated to repel any external force like Boko Haram. So, I don't know. This person is advising them. Do you want to tell us they don't know? Boratai and all the generals and all the whatever, even the service chiefs. You want to tell us that they don't know all of this or they don't know how to go about this? Is that what we are saying? You know, the best thing is just for some for people to just be looking and be watching. Don't just say anything. Don't just say anything because the more you continue to speak, the more you continue to talk, the more you continue to profile solutions. Buhari and the Kabas and the presidency, the so called presidency that are surrounding him, they will not listen. And let's, let us not forget that a Buratai has said that there's nothing that will change. And he has said this that this thing can linger, you know, in the next 20 years, we'll still be experiencing this. That changing of service chief is not even the is not the is not an issue as we speak. So what what is now the issue? Femi Adishino said we should be praying that if we don't pray that this thing can can take a longer time. That is what a Femi that is, is that is the song Femi Adishino is singing for Nigerians now. That if we don't pray that this thing might linger for a very long time. And Boratai has already said that it can take up to twenty years again because it is not an easy thing. That people just think that uh, oh, it is an easy thing to just fight this uh, insurgency. No, 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 it is not easy. That it might take 20 years. All of those things, I think we should, maybe we are forgetting all of those things. And changing the services will mean nothing. So Nigerians should not just bother. Mm. It's unfortunate. Amotekun should come to their rescue as Nigeria army has failed woefully. Is it not a, some a Nigerian police? were kidnapped again some i mean some are missing well that is all that three sahara reporters and their payments are uh, nigeria will survive like seriously i think uh, they say <laughs> he treated them but did he did, did he say it it should happen boko haram is coming for you how can it survive why the late muhammad buari is restless in a shallow grave in saudi arabia crying to be given a befitting burial in in his hometown in the northern Nigeria, hmm, go da bego.